and welcome to the wedding series. If you don't know, my name is Rowena Robinson Daly, <laughs> and I just recently got married and I thought I would do a wedding series just to help some of my viewers out. You see, when I was getting married, I never had a, any guidance as to what the process was in the UK and how you go about stuff. And you know what? Looking back on my day, I had the most amazing day. And thankfully, I have a personality that I know what I want and I go for what I want. But for those who don't, I think this series would be an excellent source of information showing you the varying details of marriages and the whole process that you've got to plan and you've got to think about and and take into account and i think by us sharing with you our journey it could help you as well if this is something you're interested in continue watching and if it's even not something that you plan to do but you just want to see continue watching so we'll be covering two things in today's series we'll be covering our rides as well as me packing my bridesmaid boxes now we opted to go through this company called finishing touches because we decided to go for a silver hummer limousine um and if you were there as well, you would have remembered that there was also a Bentley, a white Bentley that uh, I personally went in after the ceremony. However, my husband, so the groom, he came in for the limousine, the Hummer. We did go through finishing touches as I mentioned before. And this is currently their, um, what is this called? Like their gallery of things that they have on offer so as you can see when i zoomed in i really loved how that look and i thought it was fitting to my theme of timeless elegance and um just because i like i preferred that compared to the, the normal limousines that they had up there so i decided yeah let me go hummer it's taller it's bigger it's held up to 16 people i didn't want the pink one because i thought that was more party barbie vibes but the silver one was giving classy so uh, as i said finishing touch finishing touch cars is the name of the company and we actually went here to have a look so do have a look and enjoy you know look at my mechanic working i say okay. i only know that i dropped you know <laughs> And I, I okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so let's see. Yeah. Gives you an idea, and you can okay. put it right, right away, you know. <laughs> okay. Come on, I want to drive. Uh. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Oh, oh, on the oh, back here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Right. Okay. Oh, this is lovely in here, eh? Yeah, it's nice. Nice. Mm-hmm. Very nice. Comfy. <laughs> yeah. See them nice, isn't it? So where are you going to sit down right now? <laughs> right with you then. <laughs> um, you're going here. Put it just, yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, last one in. Yeah, last one in, exactly. Yeah, come we can go for us. So when we pick, when we get picked up from home, wedding. wedding, yeah, yeah, um, we will be going to the church first, and then we'll be doing like a photo shoot at, at a park, um, and then a job to Bacha. But I know that this is three hours, right? Because that's what the wedding yeah, package. You know, when you customize the hours, usually we do recommend if you're going to a park, you might possibly need four hours. Yeah. It's pretty close by, so. Okay, okay, all right then, that's fine. Okay. So then it would be better, eh? Yeah. Well, what three to six is all right as well? Cause we are trying to get to buy shop for six. Cause they reach me by three. The wedding shouldn't go on for long. 
You don't want a four? Okay, alright, so you want to do it for four? Booking for four hours. Alright, makes sense. Then we'll have to rush for like more work as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is really nice. Thank you. Thank you. So these are charged on an hourly basis. So basically they have like packages and the package, the longest package that they had was three hours, but you can keep adding hours to it just in case you need it for, for longer. Um, and then of course you can just like see what your budget is and see which limo fits into your price range and so. But for the next one, you would see that this is the Bentley that we had for the day. Um, so Mervyn came in to the church in the Bentley. And I, along with my girls and my um, colleagues, actually, not colleagues, <laughs> my girls, my mom, my brothers, my nephew, and my, I forgot to say that my ring bearer, Taraji, that's D's son. He actually came in the limo hammer with us as well. So, yeah, that's all on um, cars or rides that we had for the day. We'll now jump into the other segment, which is my bridesmaid boxes. So it is Friday afternoon, the 14th of July, and I'm about to start doing up my bridesmaid boxes. Um, at the moment, I'm adding random stuff to it. Like, I've ordered our robes, our eye mask, the scrunchie that's going to come. Like, so each of my bridesmaids will be getting one of those. Um, and then I've ordered this. Um, like I ordered some more of these as well. Just, they'll have, I'll just put some more stuff in there. Um, and then I ordered these, right? Like a set of um, bracelets. But what I find most cute about the, the cutest thing about this is that it comes with these little things. And it says, I can't tie the knot without you. And like on the braces, there's a knot. All right, you get it? So like, I just think that is that is cute. So I am doing these see-through boxes, like, yeah, win window boxes with these um, sections inside. I'm putting like this inside i was gonna do orange but i thought you know what let me switch it up let me not just stick to our theme our theme color is orange and nude but i'm like the box is already new let me switch up something soft in the middle so yeah and i was even gonna go orange with the um with the robes as well but i didn't i didn't go orange i was like you know what let me keep it navy blue so that at least when they wear it afterwards it will make sense you know yeah because you're not gonna get up every day and want to wear an orange robe you know so yeah so now i'm gonna I also have some face masks, so each of them are going to get one face mask, each of them are going to get um, one of these, even though when the robe comes, the robe is going to have like a thicker eye patch thing to match it as well as um, Each of them are going to get like a, some form of a booklet, some form of a writing book, some, some so they can journal, write down things, as well as um, in two of them, I'm going to put like something about God, you, you, you know, you know. I always got to bring God into the mix. Something about that. And what I want all them to have as well is a photo of me. Because I had this from when I graduated, right? And I've had this and I've not had anybody to give it. I'm like, yo, let, let, let me then give let me give one of these in here so that they can actually have a picture of me. I don't know if anybody still does that. But I just think, yeah, that's cool. I'm going to do that. So yeah, I have four, one, two, I think six boxes in total. Yeah, I've just like put out um so like my wedding dress and everything that i had i had in the room like i just now put them in like the suitcases that just came so i would have shown you that you know shanice had bought me my suitcase set from my wedding um register list so i put the medium size suitcase in this and then so i took suitcase in one and the same for that so the baby suitcase is in this 
and I've just put everything in them as well. Now I had stolen this suitcase from Mervin from time, but now that I got my suitcases, he can he can have that. And I've called him and I've let him know. But so rings. Um I'm in position of our rings. This is our banner. Um and then this in here is like box um with our reception welcome sign and um like guest book to sign and stuff like that. It's really cool, it's really cute. Um but yeah. But if I haven't shown you guys that in a vlog, I should have shown you guys because we got that from time. I just told everyone to bring everything to mind because I'm in Birmingham or when it's in Birmingham. So if in the event that something is forgotten, we have it all. I also have those two boxes. Those are the key rings. If you guys remember, you would have already seen that. You should have already seen that. So those are the key rings in those. So yeah, so my wedding dresses are in this with like the accessories, my shoe and bag on the day and so forth. Samantha, hopefully she gets to come up. Um, so she has the reception slippers. I kind of want like a white um, Bridget Sander looking slippers. So, okay, yeah. so they're looking like that at the moment. Um, let's open one. I found out that two of them, um, there's a box inside. So there's no box in that. So two of them have no box, no inserts inside. So I had to like thicken the paper in this because it's just in the open box. Whereas like with the others, so let's find like one of them like this. I haven't labeled them yet because I don't know who's going to get what. But you see this bit, two of these are missing. So only four of the boxes, these four have this. These two don't. So I've had to like double the paper, like this paper in it and whatnot. But so far, I have this. You know what it's about when I said I can't tie the knot without you to so that. Um, a little note thingy here. Um, because I had these random notebooks, so all of them have a, like a notebook, so not just like a sticky notepad, but like all of them have different things. Um, this, because as I said, I have them, and I'm just like, yeah, let me just give everyone one. This thing here, right? So made each of them have one of these. Uh, this book, so there are num there are two. Uh, Christian books. There's one in this and one in someone something else, and they have a face mask as well as a pen. But the rest of the other stuff coming soon. So the rest of the like the um the robes and I'm not sure if I'm gonna get a slippers yet for them. I'm not sure, but the robe, um the eye mask and whatnot, whatnot. So those are coming soon. Yeah, but yeah, so that's that. I'm gonna put them on top of my shoe rack and just leave them there until the rest of the stuff come but I feel happy about that. Didn't manage to get footage of when the rest of the um the robes and the scrunchies and um sunblocker came but they did as you guys saw from the photos. Hope you enjoy. Bye.